I knew it was you. Mars! I mean, your majesty. Kaim, Sarah, it's been so many years. You're still as lovely as ever, Sarah. Thank you. And you're still as charming as ever, your majesty. Why did you bring us here? Why the disguise? This was the only way I could find to spend a few quiet moments with you. It's not widespread knowledge yet, but word is out that you've abducted the Queen of Numara. Would you mind explaining what's going on? The Queen is with us. Then it's true you abducted her? She's one of us. But it would take too long to explain. One of you? Yes, a fellow immortal. So the queen who's been said to rule for a thousand years is in fact immortal? I consider you to be one of us too. Even though I'm not immortal? Not as an immortal, but as one who cares for this world. To think that beings from another world should be the ones to teach me about love for my own world. Has it really been 50 years since we first met? Yes. I remember. Yes. You have that memory? No, my journals. You were just 20 then, weren't you? <sighs> I was certainly naive then to go off as I did. I doubted that my inexperienced body and spirit would be equal to the demands and responsibilities of the kingship that I must one day inherit, let alone the challenges of defending my kingdom. And I wandered the world alone in search of an answer. I had been pampered by court life, and thus I was unprepared for the demands of the journey. Perhaps I was hoping for hardship, hoping that in testing myself, I would find the strength to seek some answers. Hang on. It was Kaim who found you and rescued you. Kaim has come too. I think he'll you and Kaim were already wed by then. I was jealous. Not only were you immortal, but you also had a bride who would herself be beautiful forever. But that experience changed you, and through your journey, you found your answer. Yes. You'll put your life on the line to protect what you love. A truth that is as significant as it is simple. That was when you discovered it for yourself. Oh, I remember what you told me, Kaim. Love your kingdom as you love Sarah. Yes, you fear for the things you try to protect, and it is a fear you become accustomed to. Thank you. That's not the important thing. Take what matters is knowing that nothing lasts forever. Knowing that something is an eternal makes it more precious to you. It makes it worth fighting for. <laughs> Words are unnecessary. What matters is love and the will to fight for what you love. This belongs to you. Those words were first expressed by one of this world's ancient philosophers. His thoughts live on, even though people and history may change. The words engraved on that coin are the truth. That's why I gave it to you. I wanted you to read that, if you were ever uncertain of what to do. Truth? Yes, 
These words certainly contain a truth by which one may live. Unlike you, however, I have learned through dedicating myself to the welfare of my people the impossibility of governing the world through truth alone. You've changed. We, the people native to this world, are different from you immortals. This truth is the most beautiful and significant to immortals such as yourselves. We mortals, however, have but a finite amount of time. Our options, like our lives, are also limited. And I have learned that sometimes one has to adopt less than ideal means to achieve ideal ends. Facts and reality sometimes demand that we take steps that contradict that very beautiful truth. The world always holds such contradictions. Gaim, Sarah, I have a favor to ask, now that you know my conflicted, contradictory nature. I will shortly be meeting in secret with King Tolton to discuss what can be done to avoid war, given the strained relations between our countries. He and I will consult between ourselves to avoid any interference from various vested interests on our respective sides. You struggle to achieve your ideals, even while wrapped in contradictions. So to speak. And I would like both of you to be present when I meet with King Tolton. Why? The young king and I will be struggling with the divide between truth, reality, and fact. I want your advice, given your perspective as immortals. And if we still can't find common ground and opt for war, then I ask that you not interfere. That part of you hasn't changed. You're suffering from having to confront an immutable reality that you cannot escape. You're every bit the man you were when we last met. You're too kind, Sarah. There is one thing. When King Tolton arrives, tell him that his court advisor Gangora is himself an immortal, and he's using his power to try to seize control of your entire world. What? Remember this fact, old friend, when faced with your decision. Queen Ming of Numara is with us. What would you say to having her attend the meeting as well? In addition, we have a favor to ask of you, too. We need to get to Ura. For that, we need a ship capable of traversing the hypercurrents. Very well. We'll bring the Queen along. I'll see you at the meeting. We gotta look for all the jars in this place too. Because once we leave this place, we'll no longer be able to return to this area. Also, you wanna get everything in the chest. Like this aqua. aquaria bomb.
Make sure I got everything. Wait, what's in here? Oh, wait, I know that. That was the entrance. I guess we should save. All those dog people, the Kents again, all gathering together. Let's see if I can go to that other area. And of course we can't go on the trains. We want to look at the royal one. The one we were just at. And that should trigger a cutscene. They are really obsessed with Kaim. They really want to destroy Kaim. I can't blame them though. A violet aurora will never steer you wrong. Dive into it if you want to be reunited with the spirits of your loved ones. It's another world. Where the spirits of the dead roam. Nobody's seen one of those auroras for 30 years, though. Why don't we just talk with random people? What about you? Just a story. You can't see people when they're dead. Quit dreaming. I'm not dreaming. Remember how Mom's flower saved us after Gongora wiped us out? She's here with us. Don't you want to see her too? If we can find her in the Aurora, I want to try it. Do you want to see Mom or not? <sighs> All right. Take your word for it. Let's do it. I'll drive this train. But I want to make this clear. Do not blame me if we screw up. This was your idea, not mine. 
I know, I know. What do you mean, you know? Do you know what we're getting into? <laughs> uh, all right, stop crying. If we're gonna go, let's go already. Uh, uh, I already know where this is going. That's bad news. Horrible news. Everything that's bad in one. Wrapped in a sandwich or something. Just... Ugh! Here we go. Kids driving a train. Well, this is gonna go wrong. Do this the easy way. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. <laughs> so, well, where's the uh, real king? Uh, yes. Uh, head for the train station. Our king is meeting with the king of Ura on board a train there. But uh, no one is supposed to know. Hey, thanks. Been a big help. Gotta make that money up somehow. <laughs> we make a pretty good team. Even if it cost us a fair amount of money. Yeah, my money. What? Uh, the Ming is like this. Seth did her pirate act to shake him up, and then I reeled him in by playing nice. You know, good guard, bad guard. It's the most basic technique for getting information out of people. I mean, we could have killed his family, but that's messy and takes too long. Oh. So you planned it all. Well, yeah. Actually, we did. It was a dirty trick. But, you know, when you're on the street, you gotta take the good with the bad. I wasn't surprised at that. I am a queen after all, and I've seen worse. However, what amazed me was how you two were able to work together. <laughs> what? Please don't tell me you're jealous. Jealous? Of what? Of... Oh, no, please. Uh, me and Pirate Girl? Come on. Now we're Seth again. Unfortunately, all a bunch of bad things just happened. No thanks to the stupid kids. But anyways, let's just go to the train station. I'm just gonna run over here. Watch this alarm go off. Kai! Hey, what are you guys doing here? We've been searching. We were looking for you. Me? Come on. Oh, so now we can get in. Why is that? Don't worry, it's all been taken care of.
Should we talk to the old lady? No. Hmm. Maybe it's the center. Well then, we're able to access the middle platform now. Two kids jumped on that train and took off. The whole place is in an uproar. Kids? Oh, no. Uh, yeah, a boy and a girl. They looked an awful lot alike. Uh, could have been twins. No. <sighs> they headed off to see the Aurora. What Aurora? The Violet Aurora. That's the gateway to the realm of the spirits. I sensed a powerful longing on their part to be with someone. Hmm, come to think of it, passengers that arrived on the first track mentioned seeing the Aurora on their way in. They've gone looking for Lyrum. Oh, it's dangerous to pursue the spirits of the dead. The living become their prisoners. I've seen it time and time again. Which way did the train go? Trains leaving on the first track are eastbound. The royal carriage is westbound. Opposite directions. Oh, fantastic. What do we do? Kime. The train is departing! I'm going after them. Forgive me. You go to the meeting, Kime. Stay with her. Listen, guy, I'm your husband and grandfather first. Come on, get going. We'll take care of the meeting. Go get him, Tiger. Thanks. Another party will be participating in this meeting. Who might that be? The Queen of Numara. Will that be a problem? It is increasingly likely that our three countries, Gotsa, Ura, and Numara, will go to war. The purpose of this meeting is to find a way to avoid that. I want very much to hear what Queen Ming has to say on this subject. What do you say? Very well then. Bring her in. I'm grateful for your consideration. Thank you. Hey, is the kitchen still open? Please accept my apology for imposing myself upon you in this manner. Your Majesties. Please be seated. Thank you. Queen Ming, this is His Majesty Tolton, the King of Ura. Would you please share your concerns with us? Most certainly, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I have important information concerning your royal advisor, Gongora. 
He belonged to all group of immortals, but now it appears he's created his own agenda to dominate this world. Gongora is an immortal? What he desires is power. Tremendous power. The rumors of attack by Numara, the response the Urans took by building up arms, and the restoration of the Uran monarchy with you on the throne, all are parts of Gongora's grand scheme. Grand Staff is an essential part of Gongora's plan, and it is incredibly dangerous. Your Majesty, we beg you to destroy the staff without delay. Grand Staff will make enormous contributions to Ura's development. I can't simply destroy it. I must agree with King Tolton. The completion of Grand Staff will mean the culmination of all our years of harnessing magic to advance our civilizations. Its loss would be tragic for us all. Your Majesties have surely heard of the catastrophe at the Wool Highlands. I've heard that a meteor fell on the battlefield. Yes, and it was most probably brought down by Gongora. What? And there is no telling when he may strike with a second or third meteor. It is imperative that we stop Gongora and prevent the completion of Grand Staff. I can hardly believe what I'm hearing. And yet, I can't imagine the Queen of Numara would come here to make such absurd claims. You will have our full cooperation, Your Majesty. Our forces stand ready to mobilize in Uro's defense, in place of the forces that you have already lost to this new enemy. to duty. How then should I respond? Should I destroy the mirrors before the other immortals fully regain their memories? Connect me to Tolton. I need to relay some information. Your Majesty, tell the King of Goza that you will hand over the blueprints and essential data on Grandstaff. Announce that you will join forces with him. We now have an alliance with Ura, Your Majesty. And information on Grand Staff is being sent to Kent. Dispatch our forces to maintain security there. Well, right away, Your Majesty. Ah, one more thing. Uh, yes, Your Majesty. Ura appears to know something of our relations with Kent. You mean our meetings with Kent before the attack on Ura? Correct. This alliance could be an Ura trap. Take the usual measures and use caution. My apologies for delaying our meal. This is an auspicious day. Please savor the fine cuisine of Gorza. Now we're time again. I actually need to go back up into this area. Four dark flames, and what's this chest? Mana Prime. 